Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as 1 to 3. Through this video, we will discuss about what is atmospheric pressure, which is meant for students of class 8. And in today's discussion, we'll cover up what is atmospheric pressure, how big atmospheric pressure is going to be, what is the variation of atmospheric pressure with height, and how does atmospheric pressure influence weather, and what are the various measures in which you can measure the atmospheric pressure. To understand what is atmospheric pressure, let's go watch a small magic show. Hope everybody enjoys watching magic, right? Here comes a magician. He is going to perform a small trick that he is going to take a glass of water and cover it with a thick piece of paper and flip it like this. You can see that the water is not coming down. Isn't it magic, right? Or when you look closely, is it really magic or is there any science behind it? Obviously, there is a science behind it. It is nothing but the atmospheric pressure which is acting in the upward direction which is holding the glass of water. Now, what is atmospheric pressure? Atmospheric pressure means it is nothing but the pressure exerted by air. As you can see, everywhere there is air which contains different types of gas molecules. When you look the air above the surface of earth, all the air together can be called as atmosphere. When you look closely, atmosphere contains different types of gas molecules, say oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and all of them are in constant motion. During their constant motion, they collide with the surrounding objects and these objects will be experiencing some pressure. Now to measure how big atmospheric pressure is going to be, let's go measure atmospheric pressure at sea level. When you take an air column above sea level and measure the pressure exerted by this air column, it is found to be as big as 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter square. You know how big it is? It is as if a big stone of 10,000 kg is falling on your body. But you never feel this atmospheric pressure at all. Even though it is so huge, we don't feel it, right? The reason is inside our body, there are fluids and these fluids will be exerting pressure, which is known as body pressure, right? Now, at sea level, the atmospheric pressure and pressure exerted by our body is the same. And they are acting in opposite direction as you can see here. And that is the reason why we don't feel this atmospheric, atmospheric pressure exerting on our body. But what if we go above the sea level? If you go to higher altitudes, I hope many of you might have felt it, especially when you fly in aeroplanes and all, you're going in higher altitude, right? At that time, your ears might start popping. You might have heard that feeling, right? So when you go to higher altitudes, your ears will start popping. The reason is this, that your ear is trying to balance the body pressure and the atmospheric pressure. At a higher altitude, the amount of gas present at higher altitude will be lesser as compared to the amount of gases present at sea level. So your body, especially your ears, will try to balance between the body pressure and the changed atmospheric pressure. Now, what if you go to a very high altitude like space where there is no atmosphere at all, there is no gases present, so the atmospheric pressure is nil there, but your body pressure is huge, so your body pressure will be unbalanced and this unbalanced pressure can rupture your blood vessels. That is the reason why astronauts are supposed to wear special kind of dress to balance this body pressure. Otherwise, their veins will start rupturing. Now, how can pressure affect the weather? As you know, hotter regions will feel low atmospheric pressure as compared to cold regions. The reason is at hotter regions, 
hot air will be expanding and as a result expanded air will be lighter it experiences less weight and as a result pressure exerted by this lesser weight air will be less but when you compare a cold region the air will be denser and it will be experiencing more weight and as a result it exerts more pressure every time air will start moving from region of high pressure to region of low pressure that is the reason why always wind start blowing from colder regions to hotter regions because colder regions are having high pressure and hotter regions are having low pressure so wind will always blow from cold regions to hot regions hope it is very clear to all of you now let's see how can you measure atmospheric pressure torricelli he is a very famous scientist he is the first person who measured air pressure by using a device called torricellian barometer in 17th century a torricellian barometer consists of this is a picture of a torricellian barometer as you can see it consists of a vertical tube filled with a dense liquid which is nothing but mercury and the setup is placed inside a mercury filled container when you flip the tube like this the mercury will exert some pressure due to its weight and as a result of this pressure the mercury column will come down and the gap will be filled with vacuum in fact this is the first time torricelli is the first person who could create vacuum in laboratory and when you measure the graduation on the vertical tube you will be able to read the atmospheric pressure there is another device which is called a u tube manometer it can be used to measure difference in the pressure of gas and that of the atmosphere for that a gas can be filled in a container and it can be connected to the u tube manometer due to the pressure from the gas the liquid level will have a difference due to the difference in atmospheric pressure and the pressure of the gas as you can see there will be a height difference in the liquid column filled in the u tube by measuring the difference in pressure the difference in pressure can be measured as h and there is a formula to find out the pressure which you will be studying when you come to higher classes that is pressure equal to h rho g height into density of the liquid into acceleration due to gravity don't worry about the formula now because you will be studying it in higher classes so by using a formula you will be able to find out the pressure difference for low pressure differences we need to fill lighter liquid like water in the youtube whereas in order to measure high pressure differences a thick liquid has to be filled like mercury so these are the devices which can be used to measure atmospheric pressure or pressure difference hope today's topics are very clear to all of you let's have a quick summary of whatever topics we have discussed today today we discussed about atmospheric pressure it is nothing but pressure exerted by air on the surroundings and we studied you can use a barometer or a manometer in order to measure atmospheric pressure right and we discussed atmospheric pressure reduces with altitude that is when you go up to higher altitudes atmospheric pressure experience will be less and then we discussed one more thing that in cold areas atmospheric pressure will be high and in hot areas atmospheric pressure will be low hope all of you understood what is the basics of atmospheric pressure and hope you enjoyed learning this easy topic of atmospheric pressure thank you for watching once again have a great day ahead